Greetings you beautiful beings! This week I decided to start a weekly video update log, so welcome to the first episode. I'll be sharing about the development of my game, as well as the interesting things I learn and other creative things I work on. Hoping it will give credence to my claim about how I do not spend most of my time alone at home consuming adult entertainment. <laughs> what? It's HBO! Also, if I'm being completely honest, I kind of ran out of funds a while ago. Now, my near-infinitely generous angel of a mother has run out of patience, and frankly, I agree with her, so I have to start doing things with more immediate earning potential. Showing my game and creating humorous and educational content so I can start a Patreon are some of those things. So short intro. I'm a 27-year-old, polyamorous, pansexual, transhumanist, psychonaut, game developer, aspiring YouTuber, and beginner French-Canadian stand-up comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Fanatic of science, math, philosophy, art, entertainment, and curiosity, I seem to love headaches, clearly, but I also love having fun and being happy. By the way, at least some sea snakes drink water at the surface of the ocean when it rains because drinking salt water dehydrates them just like us. Sounds ironic, doesn't it? Alright, now a bit about my game. After spending a few thousand hours working on my first game project called Meta, I accepted it was a prime example of scope creep, with too many features to ever be complete. I have now moved on to my second project, temporarily called Physics Swing. In it, you train to pilot a drone able to swing from point to point using links of energy. The drone is meant for scientific exploration in the story. I used real units from the international system in the HUD consequently. While the game requires no scientific knowledge to progress, understanding real-world physics is possible by analyzing the information provided in the HUD. Saved will be time to victory, expanded energy, as well as perhaps a metric of efficiency, so you can go back and improve your records indefinitely. Easy to play, hard to master is part of my design philosophy. I also want to add a point system with combos broken on impact, and online leaderboards maybe. So now that you know more, let's move on to the topic at hand. What did I do this week? First of all, physics swing. I worked on the objective progress system. On this tutorial level, and on multiple versions of images meant to communicate crucial information non-verbally. I also continued the interface and discovered that using 3D objects partially solves the issue I've been having with UI elements becoming distorted or smeared when moving the camera quickly. If any of you guys know how to prevent that effect on UI elements while still using the screen space camera canvas render mode, please leave it in the comments. On another topic... I thought of combining two of my old drawings, one missing a good face, the other one missing a body, and I like the result. I'll work more on it to blend both images and write a new backstory eventually. At the moment, the one on the left was a demon whose name is the German word for nurse, and the one on the right was a mutant called Bucky the Turkey. <laughs> I love doing creature design, as well as coming up with whole backstories going as far as to include information about the evolution and the role of creatures in their biome. Next topic. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun creating psychedelic animations recently. I used Photoshop to animate one of my first digital drawings, a Penrose Triangle, which was fun. But I've been having a lot more fun animating procedural geometry in Blender. You are seeing early versions currently. I'm showing versions in order, so I still have cool stuff to show you next week, even if I don't have time to render newer versions. I want to do quick tutorials about most things I do, like those psychedelic animations, the code I write, and the such. If you are interested in seeing a tutorial in particular, leave a comment so I know to get to it earlier. Last thing I did was to write this script. Read it, record it, edit, upload, publish, and I'm done. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week filled with fun. Green space camera, canvas render mode, a demon called Kranken Schwachter.
and to all a happy new year.